New faces will soon be taking over leading roles in the Kansas legislature. KSNT Capitol Bureau reporter Alec Gartner caught up with the soon-to-be people in charge. Lawmakers came to the Capitol, some for the first time since June, while others for the first time to cast their votes in leadership elections. And over Senator Ty Masterson was elected Senate President. I'm not sure it's the position that I wanted. It's the ability to move the, the values of Kansas forward. He takes over for Susan Wagle, a frequent critic of the governor. He believes he can unify people better than Wagle, but that the two share many of the same goals. The value in both amendment, for example, uh, come through some things with emergency powers and judicial selection. We'd probably like to see the Trump tax cuts pass through. There will also be a new Senate vice president, and Gene Solentrop will take over as majority leader. He wants to speed up the legislative process in a variety of areas, especially during the large task of debating the budget. In his role, he gets to set what goes on the calendar. Whether it's communication, whether it's working with the House, with a good relationship, uh, I see a lot of opportunity. For Democrats, Dinah Sykes will take over for Minority Leader Anthony Hensley, who lost re-election. He has served in the position for 24 years. He will be on speed dial as, you know, trying to navigate redistricting and lots of challenges that we have. Sykes says it's an opportunity for a change and also to listen. So she's reaching out to all the Democratic county chairs in the state. Trying to see how the Senate caucus can empower them and build on the relationships there and um, just in the end grow our party and really pass good policy. Things won't look so different on the House side as all four top legislative positions remain the same. Reporting in the Capitol, I'm Alec Gartner.